Today we're gonna be flipping rocks and we're gonna be on the hunt for some invertebrates, some crabs, some shrimp, some pistol shrimp, some mantis shrimp for the native backyard pond that is doing so well. This is gonna be episode five. In the first episode, we set the whole thing up, painted it, added water, rock, sand. Then in episode two, we netted some fish at the dock to put in there, set some fish traps in episode three, caught some crazy stuff in there, including a really cool colorful wrasse. Episode four, we added our puffer fish army. They are flourishing in this pond. And now in episode five, we are hunting down those crabs and invertebrates. So let's jump right into it to catch some cool stuff. Today we are at everyone's favorite rock spot, the rock flipping spot. You guys love these videos and we're gonna get after it today to try to load this pond up with some invertebrates, which we have not done yet. This is the first. I just heard a pistol shrimp pop actually right next to me. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. We just heard some pistol shrimp. That is good. That's what we really want to catch today. They're so hard to catch versus the other crabs. So we're gonna have to really dial in for these guys. Let's get looking. This spot is loaded with a bunch of fish, crabs, eels, literally anything you can think of this spot has it. I don't know why it, it is just a safe haven for fish. One of the best fit, one of the best spots. I love coming here, catching all kinds of stuff from big fish to small fish. Let's get after it. Start flipping some rocks. Also got the trusty net just in case we see some epic fish. We'll net them up, but I'm not trying to use that today. I'm trying to just flip rocks. We need some water in our bucket first though. Go get after it. Do a little scout job, a little scout mission going on. A lot of little fish. We're gonna have to see if we can find the crabs though. They don't need too much water for these guys, so. That'll do, perfect. Absolutely perfect. The tide is prime right now. It's, been, it's really, really low. I haven't seen this low in a while. It is so low. Everything is dry right here. So I don't know if the crabs are gonna be in this area, but we're gonna start working our way that way. See if we can catch some cool stuff. GoPro has been initiated. How's it going, everybody? We are gonna start looking and we're gonna start finding some epic stuff. So I really, would love a pistol shrimp. That may take some time to find. Snails, a lot of snails would actually be really good for the for the native pond, which is definitely something I would not be mad at. So let's grab a couple of these guys because the native pond would benefit with some snails. So we are gonna grab some of these snails right here, throw them in the pond, good algae eaters. The native pond is really an extension of the canal. So it is uh, definitely has some algae. I do need to be careful with, you know what? the stonefish because if there's a stonefish in here this is a little crab that's a little hermit crab actually i don't know if you can see him in there he's got little claws are in there so hermit crabs and snails as the first catch not bad we got some snails always good for the ponds eat up the algae but one of these has a this one you guys are not gonna be able to see it this is a crab in here so that's actually a snail shell so the crab must have found an empty snail shell and said this is mine now a lot of big crabs in here too i need to be watching out of i mean i'm talking some donkey crabs oh there's one right there nice crab right here for the pond let's try to get him see if we can get him where'd he go there he is there he is there he is got him no got him got him ow ow pinching me son of a gun oh oh he just shot his claw off at me ow ow you guys gotta see this you guys gotta see this ah here's the crab here's the crab and look at his claw stuck in my hand stuck in my hand pinching hard jeez buddy you didn't need to go that hard there's our first crab of the day. Get this claw off me. Oh my God, look how good he got me there. Look how good he got me there. Jeez, how am I supposed to get this off? Okay, there we go. Camera off. This little claw. Pinched, that's their. That's how they get, get away from big fish and stuff. They pinch and then they shoot their claws off. Ow, that hurt. First crab of the day in the bucket though. Let's find some more. That guy got me good, man. You can see the little mark on my finger there, or on my hand. That guy got me real good. What is that? I see shrimp, I see shrimp. This is a really cool shrimp. I might need the net for this. That's a really sick shrimp. I'm gonna put this net in here and we're gonna try to get them onto the net. Got him. Got a shrimp, got a shrimp. Okay, I haven't seen these guys in a while. Little tiny shrimp. And he's kind of cool. I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and actually show you guys this. This is almost like a little candy cane looking shrimp right there. So if we zoom in and focus, there is our shrimp. There's hundreds of these guys down there. This is the biggest one though. And you can see, look at those stripes he's got. You can kind of see it's like a tiger. Look at that. Look at those stripes. Those are solid stripes. There's a bunch down there I could get, but if, if we find a good opening where these guys are, I can definitely take a nice swab at them with the net, but they are hard to get because they're finicky. There you have it, a little, I'm gonna name them the tiger shrimp. Perfect, look at that, solid. He's going in the bucket. All right, buddy, let's see if I can get a couple more of those guys because those are kind of cool, but they're just in such a hard spot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them. They're sitting in this little pocket right here. There's a bunch, but hard to net because it's hard to get them because I can't barely fit my net in here. So if we find an opening, we will uh, we will definitely go after them, but not in this little area. Let's keep looking. Come here, Mr. P Mr. Pistol Shrimp. Another little crab, same one is the other one, but that's great. This is what we want. Okay, buddy's on me. Buddy's on my hand there. You can see him. He's not pinching me either, which is great. Check him out right there. Buddy is chilling. He's in the bucket. Let's go. Two crabs and a shrimp. I told you guys it gets a lot better as uh, you know the months go on and it gets out of winter. I don't know. All the crabs start really coming out at uh, at this time. So it's a good time to do this. Should we look over here? Let's look over here. Come on, boys. Where you at? 
I think I'm gonna stay over here, a little bit of a better spot, and the sunlight is perfect for this. This spot has been working out for me. Now, another thing I gotta look out for, not only is the big giant crabs, is the eels. The eels can be anywhere in these rocks, and if they bite you, it'll hurt. I'm seeing a lot of crabs. Right when I flip it, they get out of sight though. So I gotta be quick on the draw here. All right, changing spots over by the beachy area. This is where the pistol shrimps love to hang out. Oh, we got one of these weird crabs. We got one of these weird looking crabs. The ones with the big claws that are super flat. These guys are really cool. These guys, you can barely see because they're small guy, but as you can see, his claws are different than the other crabs. They're like kind of flat and much bigger. So these guys must be around and he's perfect for the native pond. Let's get him in the bucket. All right, buddy. Another crab going in. Check out the bucket so far. Whoa, there he goes, he's in. We got three crabs, a couple snails, and a shrimp in the bucket. I'll take it. Keep moving though, that was a quick find. Whoa, this one's stuck in the ground. This could be pistol shrimp one. This could be that pistol shrimp rock. Trust me guys, if I can spot a little pistol, it's game over. I will catch them. It's all about finding them. They're so hard to find, so hard to find. I haven't found one in probably a year. It's been a long time. Whoa, got another one. Another small guy. This is the smallest shrimp or smallest crab I've ever seen. <laughs> Always good to have a couple of these guys in the pond as well. World's smallest crab right there. Look at that. World's smallest crab. Well, really I found ones that are probably a quarter of this size. This guy's actually pretty beefy, but tiny at the same time. So I could find one maybe as big as his leg. That would be pretty cool. But another crab going in. Another crab going in. Little tiny dude. Come on, where's that big one? Where's that big and pistol? Where's that big and pistol? That's what we want. That big and pistol. He's around here somewhere. That's a little baby shrimp. Could be a good spot. Could be a good sign. Found one, but there's glass there. Gotta be, gotta be careful with this glass here. Found a nice one underneath this rock. Come on, buddy, where are you at? Where are you at? Where'd he go? Oh, I just saw him scurry into the other rock. Crabs know how to get away, man. They're smart guys. Whoa, big guy. Big monster right here. Big guy right here. Underneath that rock. Giant. If I can somehow get this up. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? Whoa. Big boy, big boy, with a nice big old claw. So this is one of those flat ones. This is one of those flat ones, like I said before, with those weird flat claws, is like this guy right here. So these guys don't pinch very much. For some reason, they don't like using it. Whoa, never really got pinched by these guys before, which is a good thing. This is a very chill crab. It's a very chill crab, that's why I like these guys. Very chill, look at that. So we found a smaller one of this, and now this guy's missing a claw, but, See how that claw's so big and kind of flat? If I turn this way, it's completely flat. That claw is like a piece of paper. So, sick crab. This might be the biggest one of the day. He's going in the bucket for sure. Buddy's going in, Buddy's going in. I'm trying to find the pistol shrimp though. Where are they at? We're back on the prowl. We're back on the prowl. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Big crab I just saw right here. Bigger one. Spotted him running, spotted him running. All right, he's, on, he's under a rock that's been under underground for 17 years. Got him, got him. See when catching these guys? You cannot be scared to get pinched, you just have to commit. This is the same crab, but he's got both claws. You gotta check this guy out, it's so cool. When, <laughs> this guy's claws are like orange, dude. This is a sick crab. Look at that. That is just so cool. Look at that, look he's got like orange on his claws. So this one has both of his claws. He is a big beast. Look at that crab, so sick. I don't know what these guys are exactly called. If you know the exact name, let me know in the comments. He is a weird crab. Still, he doesn't use he doesn't use those claws for uh, for protection, man. I haven't gotten pinched at all by these guys. That's a big boy. Now that's the biggest one today so far. And I didn't even have to flip a rock to find him. He just, I just saw him running. Let's get this guy in the bucket. That's a nice one right there. He's so flat. All right, now we got him in the bucket, my friend. Let's go. We got a good collection going, man. All right, I'm gonna have to get serious here to try to catch a pistol shrimp. I'm gonna have to get real serious. These guys are impossible to find. I'm talking, I've caught, I've, I've caught mantis shrimp here before, but I don't know why, they're not around. They're usually in this sandy stuff, but I haven't been able to find any. I think I might've just gotten lucky last time I found one. They're, they are like, they are wizards, or they've completely left. What is that? Some sort of swimming thing. What is this? I'm not gonna be able to catch this guy so fast. That's a fish though. That is not a, uh, that's not a crab. We're gonna leave him alone. Stud. This crab's a stud. He might cause some problems here. I don't know what this thing is. Oh my God, I think that's a baby stoner. I think that's a baby stoner. He, he's gonna pinch the hell out of me if I grab him. Kind of scared of this one, not gonna lie. This is a big freaking crab right here. I've lost eyes on him, guys. That was a big crab. It's a lot harder to catch them deep in the water, but definitely seeing some bigger ones out here. But when it's deeper, it's a lot harder to catch them. 
because you can't really tell what it is. Interesting, a lot of big crabs, just can't catch them over here, guys. It's too deep. Gotta work my way shallow. Whoa, got one, got one. He's on this rock. Got him. He's got, these guys are the ones that pinch, and he's smaller, but still, they pinch, and they pinch hard. So these are the one, this is the kind of the one that pinched me at first. First one I caught, and you can see his pattern. Pretty dope, it's like greenish. It's got like a nice little like greenish, purplish pattern. Pretty dope. So these guys, we've got three of these guys so far, which is great for the tank. So I still am hunting, I've been here for a while, hunting that pistol shrimp. I don't know if we're gonna find them today. Couple more looks, and then we'll bring these guys back home. Now my last look is gonna be over here, because this is where I did my intro, or introducing the spot, and I heard a pistol shrimp over here. This is the only place where I heard a pistol shrimp. So we're gonna look and see if we can find that one that I heard. I doubt it though, there's so many rocks. Yeah, 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 so many barnacles. So many cuts while doing these videos, guys. Oh, we got a dead stoner, I believe. So this is what I, what I saw in the, uh, when I mentioned that big grab before. This is the kind that I saw that I didn't wanna grab because look at the claws on this guy. So I think this might be a molt or it's a dead crab, but you can see how much bigger these claws are. Look at that, those are studly. Imagine getting pinched by that thing, like that would suck. It feels like a molt, but I mean, look at that thing. These claws are serious. The one I got pinched with was maybe half the size if that. These guys got some serious chompers that you don't wanna mess with, so. Definitely don't want to get pinched. Come on, one more, one more crab. One more look ski. Let's see what we got, man. I'm going deep. I'm going deep again. I'm risking it. I'm gonna get eeled at any moment. I can feel it. Big old eel's gonna come attack me. It's definitely happened before. What is this? Oh my god, I think I found the pistol shrimp. Dang it, they're so fast. I think I found a pistol shrimp. I for sure saw one, guys. I for sure saw one. The heck is this thing? The heck is this thing, dude? Never before seen. Never before seen species. What is that? Okay, that's a weird find. I gotta zoom in for you guys. That does not look like a crab, but it's alive, whatever that is. What the heck is that? That is a strange looking, almost like a bug thing. What is that? Anyone know? Let me know in the comments. He's got a pincher. He looks pissed off. Look at it, you can see he's got legs and everything, but it's definitely not a crab. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back because we don't wanna take this guy. This guy's a little bit weird. He's a little too weird for me. All right. I think this is our last crab of the day. I'm very pissed that I saw a pistol shrimp and could not catch him. I saw one pistol shrimp and I fumbled. I fumbled, ladies and gents. So we are gonna bring home our last crab here. It was another one of those little beast crabs. He's just a savage, bite everything. These guys, let's go. We got ourselves a nice bucket loaded up, ready to go. Let's get back to the house, put these guys in the saltwater native pond. All right, we're back at the crib. We are back at the pond. It's time to put our invertebrates in there. First time we're ever adding any of them. Crabs, a shrimp, some snails, some harbor crabs. We got it all today. We got we got everything except what I was hunting was a pistol shrimp. Guys, I don't know what it is. I can't find them. I mean, I must have got so lucky that one day I got a pistol shrimp and a mantis shrimp in the same day. It was absolutely electric. So we got to figure something out on how to uh, how to get those guys over here. I don't know what happened. We, we completely, they're gone. They, they've escaped. Maybe that's a summer thing. We got to just keep going to that spot, finding out. Let me know in the comments if you guys, I know you guys love these videos, so de we'll definitely do it again and we'll, we'll hunt down that mantis and that pistol shrimp. Now I'm gonna put these guys in, not gonna lie, I just had a, uh, a Reese's a Reese's Easter edition, uh, Reese's cup, knocked my socks off. Those, those are the best, that's the best candy bar I think in the history of the world. Let me know, I mean, do you agree or not? If you've ever had a Reese's Easter egg, that shit slaps. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. I think it's like 900 calories per, per cup. About to go like have 10 of them after this video. So let's get our, uh, let's, let's get back on track here and, and get our invertebrates in the pond. We have a lot of stuff to cover. We've got some good stuff in here. We got the funky looking crabs with really cool patterns. These guys, even though they pinch hard, really hard. I think we got three or four of these guys that they're all kind of similar here. Can we get them all in our hand at once? I don't know. It's probably going to be impossible. Let's try to do it. Let's try to do it. You know what? Let's try to, let's try to get at least get, yeah, they're so, they're so hard to hold. They're so hard, hard to hold, but that's what I'm talking about. Look at the pattern on that. So you can tell it's much different than the other crabs. This guy's got a nice, you know, nice spots on him. Really cool. This is the one that pinched me in the beginning of the video hard. As you can see, he's only got one claw, but he got me good. So we've got a lot of cool stuff. 
in this bucket. So that's crab number one. Then we got this guy right here, which was, uh, I found a family of these guys. They were just so hard to catch. Maybe I gotta set like a little shrimp shrimp trap over there. I can't even catch him in the bucket. He's so hard to catch. There he is, look at that. There's the one shrimp I caught. I mean, I could have caught probably 50 of them if that rock wasn't so close to the other one, but we may need to set a trap for these guys because we could get a bunch and load this pond with it. That would be really cool. There's shrimp number one. Oh, look, there's the crab. There's the crab coming out of the shell, the one that stole the hermit crab shell. Look at that thing. That thing is wild. I don't know what kind of crab that is, but he's trying to flip over. Maybe I should flip him over for him. He's, he looks like he wants to flip over, so we're gonna flip that guy over. That guy was wild. And then we got the beast crabs. The, uh, the absolute unit crabs, which are these guys right here. So we have a really good variety of stuff going in. We got a bunch of really cool stuff going in and let's, I don't know if I wanna put them all in at once. Maybe we go uh, species at a time. Now we got the puffers in here. We got the sand perch. We got the glass minnows. We got everything. The puffers we just added and they're doing so well. They, they stay together, they're homies. And like I said before, this pond isn't meant to be the prettiest, the cleanest, the less algae that, no. This is meant to be the native pond. We need a little algae in here. We need a little dirty in here to make it feel like it's native. This isn't gonna be the prettiest pond, but it's gonna have all the native fish that we can catch and possibly put in here. So let's get our first invertebrates in the pond. We're gonna start with the snails because honestly, we need them to go to work. And uh, it's always good to have, even though one of these snails is a decoy snail, like this. Like you th you got the clip of the of the, the crab I just showed them. That is a, uh, that's a crab, not a snail. Another crab, another hermit crab in there. So we got multiple, we only got a couple of snails actually. And then most of them are, most of them are crabs. I got three crabs and three snails. So let's just get these guys right in the middle of the sand, drop them in, no biggie. There they go. Let them figure it out and flip over. Now we're on to the bigger crabs. Let's go with the one that pinched me the, uh, the first time. Let's go with all of those guys, I'm just gonna wrestle them all. I, I got a lot of good crabs in here. I got about seven, eight crabs. Like I did really well actually today. I was there for a while guys. I tried my absolute hardest to find that pistol shrimp. I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't find them. They're elusive. So excuse me here as I try to grab all the crabs. We got the four feisties going in. They're just gonna, they're just gonna jump in the pond. So we gotta be quick with this. There they go, there they go. That one's got some good color too. He's swimming, he's swimming. Where's he going? Go the other way, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. A lot of them are, are not by the rocks. They're just out in the open. But we got a couple on the sand that are going to scurry along to the rocks because you know that's where they're going to hang out. And this guy's in the corner. Let's get him out of the corner. There he goes. He's going over to a rock. There he goes. He found one. Let's go. Found a nice spot under there. That's the one that pinched me and he literally, and he got me so good, guys. That one, that one hurt. So he found a spot underneath the rock. A plus for him. Now the big boys, let's get the two wacky ones in the pond. These guys are definitely, I think they're cooler. Look, you got three of them. We got two big ones and one small little baby guy. Three nice ones in there. Let's put them over by the sand or over by the rocks so I can actually have a chance to get in there. Come on, boys, get in there. Pond looks a lot better with the sunlight on it. He's tr trying to hang on to my finger. There he goes. Oh my God. I've never seen a crab swim like that before. And this one's still on my finger. What is he doing? What is he doing? Let's get this guy off onto the rock. There he goes, there he goes. Okay, those are those crabs. That one swam like a freaking beast. I don't know how, I've never seen a crab swim like that before in my life. And then we have the world's smallest crab and then our shrimp. All right, we gotta get our world's smallest crab in too as well. Let's get him freely in there. Swim down, buddy. Go down to see all your native friends. Let's go, let's go. And then our shrimp. Our, our, singular, our singular shrimp has to go in who's the hardest to catch out of everything. Okay, here's our shrimp. Our shrimp friend, there, oh my, literally didn't even see him go in. Does anyone have any idea where he is? No idea where he went. Okay, there you go. There's our shrimp, there's our crabs. We got our invertebrates for the first time, stocked up into the pond, ready to go. We're slowly adding here. I'm loving, I'm loving this series, I'm having a blast. We got our puffers, all of our fish swimming around in here. Next video, I'm really gonna try to feed these guys for you guys on camera, because they are slowly getting comfortable. You guys know the puffers, they're, they're already eating. Those things are savages. But the grunts and stuff, they gotta learn to come out to eat, which they are learning slowly. So I'm having a blast doing this doing this series. I hope you guys are liking it too. If you do enjoy it, drop a like on the video. Help me out. It's free to subscribe with the notification bell on. Drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.